So far, we've been able to complete this project and it's working well. So, all we just need is to use this application, the Blink application, to interface on this building. And then... Before I show you the complete working of this IoT project, I would like to present to you the building process and the materials that I use in completing this amazing structure. The project all started just here. Martins, whom you must have known in one of my previous projects, proposed this design. Yeah, okay, we can have two, 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 two LEDs. Yeah, so perfect. Yeah. Mm, yeah, sure. And to bring this idea to life, James from Make Maker will be making a laser cut for the house, which will be first modeled. Yeah, you can. Mm. Except this door here. Yeah. Which we can use acrylic. We are using this first physical print which James had 3D printed as a reference to redesign this house for IoT based home automation. To further link up with these two great guys, I'm going to drop their LinkedIn profile on the video description. The next phase of this project is laser cutting all the parts of this design. This process didn't take any much time as James, who is proficient in product designing, made work easier for me as I'm going to be showing you the role I played in this project. Just as you can see, all the parts of these are structures we are cut out separately and with an adhesive glue, the has parts we are born to shape. For me, I'm happy to have this part of the project ready as now I have the structure in my space for my own part of the project. Not really everyone have been able to see some of the IoT projects that I've been able to develop in a short while. And recently, I've been able to develop more projects just like this. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I will appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell icon in order to personally get notified when I make upload on this project. Now back to the project. I went ahead to apply a spray paint on the structure in order to have this structure cool and easy to distinguish the body and the roof. Completing that, I now have the structure looking just like this. Next, I now glue the window frame to the house to have them well spotted from the white paint. The house is now taking shape gradually as I started working on the lightning for the structure using the mapping that James created for me. From the proposal, we will need light outside of the house which I'm going to be using a white LED to indicate. The internal holes will be used for the internal light. The LED are now glued in place and most especially I have them wired in parallel since I'm going to be powering the whole electronics using a 5 volt. Talking about the electronics for this project, the initial proposal was for me to use an SMS module coupled with an Arduino board to control the house via an SMS communication. This is the reason why I have these components well assembled and I have them soldered in place. For the door control, I'm using a servo motor for that. I used a simple copper wire which I glued to elongate the shaft. I uploaded a simple code on the Arduino board as I connected the pinouts together and have them powered. Just as you can see, the door started opening and closing. I tested the rest of the wiring for the lightning of the house structure as I have them working while I powered them on a 5 volt power supply. The next part of the project is the development of the antenna system. I use the thick wire for that as I strip out the insulator from these wires. This was the final result after I completed the stripping of the wires. Now I started soldering them together to make the antenna device. Cutting out the two MMM wire for the cross connection, I'm ready to erect a simple antenna structure.
this was the final look and i love it just as i apply spray paint to make it more fanciful there are other features which was later asked of us to add to this project just like the window shutter system this particular part of this project will enable the closing of the window whenever an intruder is detected james created a gear based shutter for this part and showed me how to set it off from my end I did exactly what he wanted for this part of the project but I encountered another challenge and this challenge will affect the rest of the internal structure and as such there was great need for us to remove this part of the project. This feature and the SMS communication protocol were eliminated as we deliberated once again and decided to make the project IoT based. For the IoT communication, I'm going to be using the Blink application and ESP32 board. Due to the time limit for this project submission, I completed the project as I made them without covering the video of the rest of the process. To just compensate for that, at the end of the video, I'm going to be sharing the schematic diagram for the project, the code and the Blink application model for this project for those that wish to develop or would like to build a similar system for themselves. Now, let's take a quick look at the code for this project and I must add this, if you are not so interested about code, I would like you to skip this part of the video so that you are going to see the other part which I completed and tested the project. Okay, this is the code for this project and I'm going to try as much as possible to explain what each lines of code will be doing for me in this project. So first and foremost, I started off by including the libraries for this project where I have the ESP32 board, Arduino library, Blink library and also the Wi-Fi library. For the next part of the project, I have to do the proper settings to do the proper linking of the application down to the um, Blink ap um, application cloud. And to do this, I had to include the authentication key which was sent to me over here. You know, whenever you create your own um, Blink application, an authentication key will be sent to you. And once you receive that authentication key, you will have to impute it at this part of the project. And the next part is uh, my Wi-Fi. So this is the Wi-Fi name I'm using for my communication from the ESP32 board down to the Blink Cloud. And this is the, um, the password. So I'm going to be working with the analog pin, pin 34, to measure or uh, I'm going to be using it for the LODR, which uh, will be measuring an intruder um, cutting through the laser line in the house or you can call it just basically um, an intruder alarm system or intruder sensor. So whenever an intruder cuts across um, the laser line, the signal will be sent to the pin 34 of the project and this pin 18 I'm going to be using for the servo motor. I uploaded the code as I now have the new panel working just as I can confirm. I used hot glue to seal up the wiring since this project will be sent out to the place where it's going to be used for demonstration. I didn't seal up the roof onto the board since also this part of the board or will I say the project will be sent out and to make it a lot more easier for the person to carry this particular device, I left it untouched so that it will be easy and flexible to carry around. Now, completing all part of the project, I now have the smart home looking just like this. So far, we've been able to complete this project and it's working well. So, all we just did is to use this application, the Blink application, to interface on this building. And then, when I trigger this, the internal light turns on. And then, when I have this, the external light turns on. The application enables control of the house, just as shown. For the door, I can control it by opening it on the app and also closing it on the app just as you can see. Using my hand to cut the laser line as I try to simulate an intruder detection, the house completely shut down. 
After 10 seconds, the system resets and I did the same thing on the application to restart the automation. The three of us confirmed once more the assembly of the project and glad that it worked out just fine as per proposed. Martins also confirmed the result of this proposal and also glad with the extent that we were able to achieve irrespective of other offer or less other projections that we are giving out which we couldn't achieve in the shorter period of time. We just actually modeled a smart room automation here my team. The project is completed and I'm glad to be part of it. In coming days, I will be publishing more projects like this which you will be likely seeing both James and Martins and some other great minds that I'm going to have been involved in these projects. You will be able to get a notification once I make upload on this project by hitting the subscribe button and also clicking the bell icon for further notification. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'm going to be seeing you on the next project. Do have a blissful day.